You know where you want your design to stitch out on your towel, but how does your machine know? Let's take this embroidery design from computer to machine, line it up perfectly on your towel, and use the editing tools in your brother machine to get it positioned exactly where you want it. You know what I wish? I wish you would let me continue filming. You're making this difficult. Say hi. Ready to give this a try? Let's go. I'll be using a vintage towel. Fold it in half lengthwise and press. Draw a line down that pressed fold. I'm just using a water soluble marker. Set your towel aside, we'll come right back to it. Templates let you see exactly where to put your design on your fabric before you even take a stitch. I like to print my templates on freezer paper because it sticks to the fabric temporarily and it's easy to remove. If you like this design, check it out over at Julia's Needle. I thought it was adorable. We can't print our embroidery designs and create templates unless we have some sort of embroidery software. If you purchased your machine from a dealership, you may have received free software with your purchase. No software? <coughs> Try out a free trial, you get 30 free days, or check out the article I'm linking below in the description by sewingmachinefun.com. She's got an entire article on where you can get free embroidery software. So here's what it boils down to. Embroidery software just lets you open your design in your computer. From there, you have options about what to print and how you want it to look. Print your design with a snowman sticker, with a grid, and with a thread chart. We'll trim around all the edges of the template so that it will fit nicely in the hoop. Remember, the idea we're going for here is we want to see exactly what our design will look like on our fabric prior to stitching. Position your template on top of the towel, centering it over the line you already drew. Use a hot iron to press it in place if you've used freezer paper. You can also use a spray adhesive to hold it in place or even pins. Notice how much you can move your towel around and the template really stays put. There's one more thing I like to do to make my positioning go easier, and I use my water-soluble pen to extend the left and right crosshairs on the side of the templates over onto the towel. Let me show you two different ways to hoop. I'm using my 5x7 hoop and the plastic grid that came with the machine. I'm going to place the inner part of the hoop on top of the towel and line up these four notches on the inner hoop. They're essentially pointing towards the center. Then I'm placing my plastic grid on top. Place your stabilizer and lower frame under the towel and loosen the tightening screw. You're going to need some space here for your towel. My goal is to get the center of the crosshair in the center of the hoop. This is not as straight as I would like it, so I'm going to make some adjustments. Okay, now let's hoop with a sticky stabilizer. Sticky stabilizer works great for hard to hoop projects. Sticky back stabilizers come in both tearaway and water soluble. I'm using a tearaway version as you can see here. In this case, we do not have to try to squeeze the towel into the hoop, we're only hooping the stabilizer. Use a pen to score the top layer only of the stabilizer and then remove the paper. This reveals the sticky side underneath. Just like before, line up the crosshairs on the towel with the registration marks on the hoop. Once again, that grid is very useful in making small adjustments to centering your towel. Notice how well the towel sticks to the stabilizer. Let's take our hoop to the machine. Brother offers a free app. It's actually something you use on your computer. It's called Design Database Transfer. I highly recommend it for a couple reasons. One, it's free. Two, it works as a thumbnail viewer, so you can look at your embroidery designs on your computer without any kind of special software. And three, if you have a wireless embroidery machine, why not send your designs wirelessly from Design Database Transfer straight over to your embroidery machine? Open your design in the machine. If you don't have wireless, you'll need to use a USB thumb drive. Select the design, set it on the screen, and press Edit End. You should now be at the screen that says Embroidery. Your brother embroidery machine has placement tools that will allow you to stitch your design precisely in the middle of the hoop. Once your hoop has been loaded in the machine, look at where your needle falls on your design. 
Use the arrows to move the needle directly in the center of the crosshair. Use the hand wheel on the side of the machine to drop the needle occasionally to help you get a more precise placement. Press the key in the lower left corner. This is the starting point key. In order to make sure the design is straight in the hoop, press the right alignment key and then press the left. Lower the needle each time you stop. At any point, you can use the arrow keys to adjust the needle position. Don't forget to check the top and bottom positions as well. You should be able to align all four crosshairs in your hoop using the alignment tools. Press the embroidery button. Remove the template and begin stitching. Pop that towel out of the hoop and remove the excess stabilizer. I like to remove the water soluble lines on my towel with a spray bottle. Once it's dry, I give it a good press and it's done. Let me know what you think in the comments.